everyone, Mango7 Roll here. How we doing today? Welcome to another episode of Epic 7. Well, technically Blue Stacks 5, because we're gonna be going over that and the new iterations of the build they've given out and so many improvements they've made that have actually made me want to play on PC again. And it blows me away how much progression they're doing. Uh, this is a sponsored video, of course, so thank you so much for your support. If you want to download it, get it in the link description below. Each time you click that link and download, it helps me out a ton, so I appreciate it if you do use it. And trust me, you're going to want to. I'm not just saying that. You know I recommend Bluestacks every single video. You know I'm always talking about it. You know I refuse to use any emulators. And it's for a good reason. It's just secure to me, you know? Like, I, I feel... I feel secure with Bluestacks 4 because I talk to the developers regularly, every single day almost, I'm uh, trying to help them improve it with specific games. Like, for example, I've been working with them on Epic 7 to make it the way it is for quite a while now. Um, also been trying to improve other games such as Romancing Saga and Disgaea RPG, all to just make this a better platform for everybody. And that's actually my favorite part of the whole thing. And while you may not get to really interact with them like I do, know that I've got your back and I'm trying to make it better and they are listening. So start things off with, uh, first thing you want to do is download it in the link description below. And again, it's a free download completely. Um, you'll have two of these on your device after you install. There's a Bluestacks 5 and then a Bluestacks 5 multi-instance manager. And one of the things people do in quotes wrong with emulators is they run the wrong version and um, the way to get the right version here is first you should actually clear out everything you've got with Bluestacks in your current version just uninstall everything you know do it all and start completely from scratch especially with this new version just because it makes so much of a difference you then want to run the Bluestacks instance manager this thing pops up and if you can see, the first base instance, this top one here, is Bluestacks 32-bit. You do not really want that for Epic 7. The Epic 7 has been running infinitely better otherwise. So what you have to do is, on the bottom right, you're going to have to hit New Instance here. You're going to have to hit Fresh Instance. And then this thing will come up. If this doesn't come up, you're on the wrong version or an older version of Bluestacks 5. And you want to select Nougat 30 or 64-bit. You then hit next, you select how many cores you can do. I currently have an eight core CPU and uh, I'm upgrading soon. I'm really excited for that. I do four cores. You can then do RAM. I have 16 gigabytes of RAM and I do four. And then I just leave the rest of it default. You can lower some of the settings here to make it run slightly faster, but I like it to look better at the same time. So that's what I personally do. It's gonna start uh, the new emulator and that's what you wanna run every time. Um, make sure after you do this process, you don't just run this button here. If you run this main one, it's going to run the top blue stacks instead. So let's get into performance first. Uh, and again, there's tons of other emulators you can try out. There's LD Player, there's like Mimu, there's Nox. All of them are okay, but I just don't trust them is the bottom line. And I've never trusted them so much, especially LD Player. Uh, you can see in my descriptions and, and older videos that I just don't trust them. Um, and I don't really like their stability either. And Bluestacks, again, has had problems in the past with stability, but that's the thing we're working on fixing on a regular basis, and it's fantastic. They fixed some crashes that I personally uh, sent to them to try to get going. The big thing with Bluestacks 5 is just a massively reduced usage of RAM. I was trying to say that right, <laughs> but it was coming out wrong. It takes up to 50% less RAM, and that's actually a thing. It actually does. I tested it. There's a 40% faster startup time. There's just a better engine in general for f FPS and stuff like that. And it's just built for stability and long-term gaming. So if you're one of those people that like to cough, cough, macro all day, um, it's there for you, you know? You can do that and it stays sturdy. Um, I have a game that I may or may not play, that I may or may not run all night, that may or may not never crash. So I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, apps launch faster as well, and there's also an eco mode. In the bottom right here, you can click on this and toggle on um, and off eco mode. This actually can reduce your CPU usage by up to 87% less. So that's insane. So without further ado, let's actually just show you one of the battles here. And this is Auto Automaton Tower level 4. This is floor 22. We have uh, 
two rangers, an AoE, and a mage here. And the reason why I'm using this build is because it is specifically laggy. You know, like it's a it's a hard build to really use um, because there's just so much going on. There's counterattacks. Everybody has debuffs. There's detonations. Everything. And by the way, I am recording right now, and that decreases my performance by a lot because my PC sucks. So um, there's not even the slightest bit of lag anywhere when I'm actually running it without uh, stuff like that. Um, where in previous versions of Bluestacks and other emulators, when that burn ticked at the end there, it would just lag the whole thing and kind of freeze up, right? There's basically no freezing whatsoever, and any small little hang-up you, you see is due to me recording right now. And I'm on a rather old PC. I bought it like five years ago, six years ago, and I'm actually upgrading as we speak. Again, so excited. Uh, and it's just so, so nice. Everything just runs perfectly, and this is exactly the stress test you want to do. You've got animations, you've got tons of trigger effects, those often um, hamper performance features. You've got everything, right? You've got menus as well, which do work a lot better, like infinitely better. Um, pretty much instant when I'm not recording, and uh, while I am recording, it does take a little second there, but that process right there, like this whole range of like a minute and a half we just did there would have taken me like five minutes in uh blue stacks 4 and older versions and that's why i'm just so flipping excited for this so excited there's also um again you can run multi instances at once if we bring up the multi instance manager and that's one of the things they improved for the uh current version of blue stacks 5 it's going to take up to two gigabytes less RAM when running each instance, which is uh, massive for me because I used to hit a uh, cap for that. And yeah, everything is just great. I, I honestly can't give enough praise to this. And this isn't fake praise. I want to make that super clear here. This is me absolutely loving the product, loving the people I work with, loving everything there. Um, it's just absolutely amazing. And I really think people should be switching to this. Um, it's just safer, better, consistent, and especially with Blue Stacks 5, it's something they're super pushing performance. Um, and one other thing I want to mention here, if you're ever playing a gacha game or a game on this that you're not super happy with, they will work on it and they will try to fix it. Um, the best way to do this is just hit help and support here if you're running super laggy or something crashes because... Games and emulators are really, really, really iffy, right? Like, each one takes a different change, and if nobody says something, they don't know. Just fill this out here, and it will give them a uh, support message, and they will look into it, and they will actually do that. That's the way I give them the uh, problems and stuff whenever I have, when I've been working with them through the beta of Bluestacks 5, Auto Burn. Thank you, that sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, so let's do one more stage here because this is super cool. Uh, I really am enjoying this. I also think I might get an uh, ML Summit after this. We can do that. So uh, again, please download Bluestacks 5 in the link description below for free. Uninstall your other versions. Start with this one. Get the 64-bit version going. Um, and if you have any problems with performance, if there's anything, send me a PM and I will help you, I promise. On Discord, of course, uh, that's where I will see it guaranteed. And to show you menu navigation as well as we go through pretty much all instant loading, and we did get that ML uh, summon, so let's do that. Because I'm not actually angry navigating the menus, I feel okay doing it. <laughs> it is such a glorious feeling. And uh, here's hoping we, we get something great. Welcome. We never do, but maybe this time. Nope. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe as always. Download Bluestacks 5 in the link description below. Make sure you use that version. And I will talk to you all later. Have a wonderful day. Bye, everybody.